Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of glorious King Salt Mud. How ironic. I completely forgot that his name was King Salt after everything that's happened over the past couple of episodes. Today, we were going to aim for full-blown reformation because it turns out our moral authority has really, really spiked recently. It's probably because we're an Empire-level title, winning a lot of wars, so that's giving us uh, 6% there. Being able to convert people is helping out a lot because Valyria's really dealt the Andals are a, a, pretty, a pretty tricky hand right there, so they've been reduced down quite heavily. They're not doing nearly as well. You know, I, I don't know what has caused it, really, but they've not been able to form any of these major kingdoms anymore. Like, Dawn was doing pretty well for a while, but even they've collapsed at this stage. It's too, just too much Andal infighting. Not being able to, I guess, solidify the center here as well really hasn't helped out too much because we've stayed strong. We've got enough moral authority now to potentially try and reform the faith here. So we still need to grab either Storm's End, Fist of the First Man, or the Starry Sept down in Old Town. We've already got a claim on Storm's End. We can push for our vassal, which would help out a lot. Um, at that stage, all it is is, is press the button, I guess, because we've got everything else, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Wait. Oh, I thought it meant that you, you need to control too. Okay, that's fine. So, besides that, the only... Oh, right, that's it. I was going to say what, what was stopping us. I remember something was stopping us. That's it. The plague. So the great... The, I should say the, uh, the the great sickness is here. So this has quite a high chance of uh, killing instead. It's no different really to your uh, to your plague in the base game. We're going to hide behind our walls like the coward we are and wait for it to disappear. Then we're going to go and reform the faith. And, and we're probably going to come out swinging really. And to be honest, now that I think about it... Oh, god damn, we're already ill. Vomiting. Oh, no, I, did, I didn't even notice that. Okay. That could be a concern. Let's let some time go here because we might just end up dying immediately. Food poisoning. We got food poisoning. Oh, okay. Even despite the fact it showed a picture of a random old man, we're the one with food poisoning. We're fine. Okay. Well, we're not fine. Obviously, we've got food poisoning, but that's at least not the great sickness. Unaware of the others hearing them, Simoriel the Wily and Walton have been sneaking around the premises to it for intimate encounters. Few seem amused by their indiscretion. Um... This ends now, we make them break up, or we say it's the only end to anything here because we are lustful. Um, sure, whatever. We might as well not piss these people off given that we're going to be sharing a castle for the, the upcoming months. I was going to say, why don't we push the advantage now? Why don't we go for it? Because if the Andals come for us, we're one big unified realm. So, and, and to be honest, the plague very rarely reaches all the way up to the north because it's, I mean, if it's, it's less likely to be prosperous, etc., etc. I think we should go for it. I think we should go for it right now before our troops all start dying to, to the plague while we've got them around. Um, let's go by sea. I, I said I was going to send some people by sea, and I kind of still intend to do that. Um, oh, we've only got 19... Oh, we've got 29 ships. Right. So everybody has a rally point to Iron's Rest. We've got boats that we can launch off from Darry. Let's send everybody over there and let's leave. Let's leave from Darry. Send some people by a ship to land in Storm's End. We declare war. Drop them in Storm's End the same day we declare war. That way, you know, we can actually still declare war. But more importantly, they can't raise their troops. We siege it down. Then move out the province. They'll raise their troops. We turn back around, smash them. That's it. War's over. That way, it's going to give us plenty of war scores so that if the other Andals do happen to join, probably won't matter too much because we're already so way ahead in the war. All we've got to do is basically survive their, their onslaught for a while. Let's do it. I'm, I'm well up for this. Okay, let's also get, if we can, some other... Let's see if we can get any other extra ships here. So there's like a sail, sail fleet, sail, sail fleet, sail, sail fleet. Thank you very much. Bring those over to Darius. Well, it gives us 55 ships. You know what? Why don't we dispatch a small... Oh, why am I raising army levies, you fool? <laughs> As if that's how I'm, how this game works. Okay, never mind. Uh, what I want to do then instead is we want to raise our our vassal, vassal mercenary bands got too many ships now but never mind okay it doesn't really matter too much why don't we why don't we set those mercenary boats that i heard like a fool right there we go oh we actually need some of them god damn it okay right bear with let's take this a bit slower i'm panicking because the plague's here we don't need to panic quite that much okay that's more than fine so send you guys over to oh aim please live okay oh it's, it's the plague is probably causing a little bit of lag here so you'll have to bear with that okay send those guys over king duncan the iron king duncan of the iron islands old gods northman of house hall Fantastic news. Send him a gift. Uh, Iron King Duncan, congratulations on your ascension to uh, another fellow First Man Emperor. Seems like a pretty good thing. That probably explains why the uh, Andals have been beaten around so much. Um, right, so let's get some of our best commanders on this one. We, we basically, I mean, beggars can't be choosers now. We, all of our people are in hiding. Now, Storm's End has not been hit by the plague, so we can siege fairly safely without having to worry about attrition or anything like that. But conversely, they've still probably got full garrisons. Uh, point is your region. Why? Pierced foot? His character's foot was pierced. What we got like a, <laughs> we got like a like a like a ring or something through it, like a stud. And I also don't understand why we have a region. What? Because we're in. You get 
Wait, you get a uh, you you get a region if you're in seclusion? I actually had no idea. Oh no, we're on a warrior's journey. Right, okay, that expands up. My god, that took me a while to put that together. Good lord. Okay, bring them together. Let's go for Shipbreaker Bay. Probably not the best place to land boats, but hey ho. And then we'll drop you guys over there, and then we're just gonna have to sort of estimate when they're gonna get there by. That seems pretty fine to me. Declare war. How many troops have we got? Seven thousand. Oh, wasn't expecting that. I'm glad I knew in this then in hindsight. Claim Storms Emperor Vassal Council say no. A council saying yes to a forced vassalization, but they say no to pushing this kid's claim. Why? Returning further to Jaw, the Jaw says there are other wars more important, but you're fine with that one. It's the same war, you weird man. Oh my god. A, a lot of the council is empty. Let's see if we can get some loyalists on here and just sway the whole council over a little bit. There we go. Um, core position is obviously maester. We need to get someone on board. Uh, you are... Let's go for a pragmatist. They'll just vote with the rest of the council. I might even have to buy some fucking favors here. Um, buy favor. God damn it, I can't believe I'm having to do this to declare war. Hand of the King is already returning a favor to Jaw. Can we buy a favor from Jaw then? Uh, buy a favor. 125 gold. Shouldn't have bought a favor from the other guy. Probably wouldn't say yes anyway. Let's be reasonable here. Uh, you know what? You're being a dick. I'm sacking you. You know what? No, get out of here. You're gone. Let's, let's just get a pragmatist on the council or a loyalist if we can or not. Okay, never mind then. Um... I want to see he's a diplomat. There's better people anyway, so he's definitely sacked. Fuck him. He's bought. He's got too much sway over the council. That, that shouldn't be illegal to do that. Okay, try again. How about now? We, are we good? Maybe, maybe a little bit little bit of uh, tyranny going on there. No nope, pragmatists. They're being swayed by the other guys um, who's being swayed by this glory hound here. There's no enemy. The enemy is too weak. I disagree. Yet yeah, they're okay with this one. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, fuck it. Let's go for the forced vassalization. I'm not pissing off the whole council while we are in seclusion. That seems like a bad idea. Oh. We weren't quite as close as I thought we would be. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, never mind. Then let's hope that the Andals don't decide to join this war. They've got too many of their own in wars right now. And there's obviously great sickness sweeping over there. They might not come for it. Um, thank you, my friend. Well, that's the end of those troops. Never mind. They're only the, uh, they're only the mercenaries that we raised there. So I'm not going to lose any sleep. I'm just going to drop the boats as well. It's looking okay. They haven't actually called in anyone yet. Wait. Oh, wildlings. My god, I thought that was the others then for a second, the White Walkers. Um, we ride north at dawn because if we say no, everyone's going to get pissed off to us and having rearranged that council a little bit, just trying to get this war to go through was, uh, it's already pissed off. Oh, cool. We lose flanker, but we gain tactical leader, uh, evidently. Yeah, I think I am very much a tactical leader, as you can tell. 30%. Bonus two flanks if we're leading. Of course, it's not going to be relevant for this one. Hey, we're back from our warrior's journey too. Fantastic news. We can go on another one though, can't we? Um, oh no, because we didn't... We, okay, so if you become brilliant commander or, or brilliant strategist or whatever it is calling this one, um, you gain two leadership traits. You, you get the bonus extra one as well, but because I, I thought that we were that, no, we're only level three, so we actually don't get anything else from that one. It does suck a little bit. Can we still do the bounty board now because we're in seclusion? Oh, we can combine our trophies now though. Yeah, there we are. Copper of broken weapons, which I think just gives us... Pre same prestige, but doesn't cost as much or something like that. Um, yeah, there you go. So we've combined 10 weapons, all given 0 0.1 per month into one giant coffer. Very cool. Chest weapons contains the defeated foes of kings, salt of the rivers and the hills in the neck and the north wall. Not interesting for the common folk. In the right circles, it's a source of pride. Very cool. That's very, very nice. So I, I suppose this guy's sort of living for the sword a little bit. Kind of like how, how certain rulers, you know, love their joust and whatnot. It's just us, but we're fine in the arena. That's really all we've done with this character, unfortunately, because uh, leading the troops kind of kind of been put off that quite significantly. Right, let's get let's just start moving these men down. That's more than enough. We don't, want to, we don't want them to be one gigantic unit like I was planning there, otherwise the attrition will kill us. We've only got one commander, and that's Harrion. Oh my god, are you joking? Um, and I imagine they have also got no commanders as well. Uh, yeah, looks promising. Just set storms and army. Okay, that's good. So normally it would be army of X. So for example, that's army of Lord Harrion. This is good. We've, we've, we've got them on a, on a weird... Oh, if we raise all the mercenaries though, those guys will come with, uh, commanders, surely. Surely they can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Not that we really need it, but we might as well have some other armies and backup just in case the Andals do decide to swing for us while we're in the middle of this. Okay. Uh, this should be a very, very simple battle. And then we'll go for the simple siege of Storm's End. 70 cent war score right there. Um, in fact, let's siege par parchments instead because we can assault this one down. To try and crack Storm's End is a very, very difficult thing to do. So let's go for this one while we're at 70% to see if that might be enough. Oh, it's not going to be, is it? It's not going to make us do it. I'll try this one as well. Now, 86. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. Let's go for, uh, let's go for Storm's End. Then. Who are you? The Lord of where? Archon of Dragonstone. So the Magnificent King Salt. Blessings upon you, Lord Vagon and my half-sister. Marry into... What? You want her? You, you want her? Depressed, gouty, dysentery-ridden dirt? Take her. 
Take her. Honestly, that's fine. That's. It, I mean, it's a. It's an alliance with Valyria, which is a bit hit and miss, or at least an alliance with Dragonstone, um, which is worthless at this stage, by the way. Dragonstone is basically used as a as a prison for Valyria or a place to send them off into exile. So it's not really much of a use. But hey, we weren't going to do much else with that woman. Tr chances are we wouldn't have been able to marry her off even if we tried. Fatigue is not good. Fatigue is not good, particularly when we already have food poisoning. We can't send for a maester from the Citadel because the we are in seclusion. Um. So now that we've got fatigue, why don't we just open the gates and send for a maester? Because I think we're probably going to die here. We've already got th minus three health from that. We got minus 0 0.25. Oh, we came strong yesterday, though, didn't we? Gives us plus one. Okay. If this turns into the full-blown plague, we are we are dead. There's no way we can survive this. Let's get this war done quickly, then. Let's, let's see if we can deal with this as soon as possible. Send all of the troops down to Storm's End. This is going to take a long time to crack, like I said. We're looking at 2% every 12 days. That's a long time. That's a very... A son. Oh, my God. She was, she was Pergonant? I didn't even notice. Come on. Powerful, attractive son. Come on. That's... Oh, God. Why did I... Unsightly. Minus 10 attraction opinion. Laris Mud. Laris... Oh, good God. Fine. We're going to call you just... Just... Oh, my God. You're so bad. What's like an ugly rock? What's an ugly stone or an ugly, ugly, ugly earthly thing? Um... Man your, man your, that's, it's just a classic, it's a classic first man name, don't worry about it, there he is, man your mud, fulfilled the ambition to have a son, barely, okay, um, oh, I mean, what can we, well, I guess we'll go with thrift then, seeing as we can't use struggle anyway, I've already used struggle, and to be honest, I'm not even sure I want any more bloody martial characters, um, you're good, oh, Silt is still alive, she trained us, she trained our father as well, I think, you know what, you will train three generations of house mud, Thank you, Silt. You will not be forgotten. When Silt dies, we need to build a statue of her or something, because she is uh, she is doing incredibly. Uh, fire this man in exchange for this captain. Yeah, why would we not do that? He's, he's better. He's like an actual... That's his job as the leader of the Hedge Knights. Yeah, Silt, I, I think we need to we need to do something to commemorate and maybe rename one of, our, one of our promises or something like that. Why would we ever convert? Get out of here with that first, man. Come on. <gasps> we lost the food poisoning. Okay, that's a good start. It's only fatigue, though. Hang on, it might not be that desperate. I was going to say we'll open the gate, send for a maester in our desperation, but it looks like we're just tired rather than dying of the plague, which you'd think our doctor would have picked up on. We lost the trait fatigue, but we did have to send our vassal some gold because, of course, we got vassal levies raised along. This is going to be a long siege, so that is going to stack up more and more and more. We're going to have to give them more and more tax concessions, gold, whatever else. More importantly, I feel like our troops might die of attrition quicker than we can. 13% uh, monthly attrition? Holy shit. Um, bear in mind, Storm's End has 6,300 defenders. Unless this plague disappears soon, we could be unable to break Storm's End just because of the attrition. This might have been a bad time to do it. It might be a great time to do it, because of course all the Andals are in seclusion, so can't answer one, of, one another's call to arms. This might have been the perfect time to do it, or it might be terrible. Not entirely sure. Oh. Jolano has brought for you some s distressing news. He's certain that Princess Silty is a witch. Silty, my half-sister, how could you do this? He claims to have seen her take it, talking to herself in a strange tongue. Also informs you of several incidents. Oh, she is, uh... She is a lunatic, though. Have her in prison. We get local revolt risk lowered. And I can't really fight, afford to fight any more wars right now. We don't have to kill her. Uh, I'll, I'll be merciful. Put her under house arrest. That way, the peasants are pleased. She's not really in that much of a of a discomfortable situation there. So I, I wouldn't worry about it. Discomfortable rather than uncomfortable, really? Okay, how are we doing? This is bad. I think we're going to die to attrition quicker than already can crack this place. Shit. Uh, oh, come on. Not now. How are we looking? It's still 13% attrition a month. We're, I mean, two more months, that's it. We're done. That's the end of that siege. Okay. Um, bollocks. Where are they? 20,000? What are you talking about, 20,000 troops? We can't win that. What the fuck are you saying? Where's the, where's the plague? It's starting to recede a little bit. Um, we're not going to be able to be. It's a peasant liberator. Fucking good. Okay, give up on the siege of Storm's End. It's like we've been there for months and months and months and months and months. President someone else, we've got malaise. Oh, we are dead. We are dead, aren't we? Come on, then. And she wants to get out of prison for 110 gold. Sold. Sold. Otherwise, you've got the, the minus uh, modifier from having no money. Oh, God. Are we actually going to die? Don't, don't die. Don't, do not put the kingdom in the, in the, in the realm of a one-year-old boy when we are potentially so screwed. 17,000. I mean, they're going to die through attrition as well. To be honest, if, if we move through enough home territory, we might be able to reinforce faster as fast as they die from attrition. And they're splitting their troops up to avoid it. You fools. That could be your downfall right there. Come on, come on. Move move, move back. Focus on these guys first and foremost. Then we'll go back to Storm's End later on. We've got 87%. Great sickness is broken out in Emma's Rest. Wait, is it not? 
Wait, only now? No, that's not right, surely. Um, fine, yeah, whatever. Wait, we've only just got that. I suppose we did have a hospital after all. Oh my god, we've got winter fever. That's not it either. <laughs> we've had two different diseases and uh, fatigue. None of which have been the big plague threatening us. I suppose if it's only just turned up in the capital, that's probably why. Okay, we got 13,000. 13,000 versus an army of peasants. One army of peasants is dead. Go, go, take him out. Take him out. That was that was pretty dangerous there for a second. Oh, what's this other... What else are we find here? Liberation of the Crossing. What's this one? Oh, Invasion of the Night's Watch. Right, we don't have to worry about that one. It's just the just the crossing one we have to worry about right now. Another chance of hopefully getting a better sun, because that first sun is pretty goddamn garbage. I'm not going to lie. Right, so we've got Walter. We've got any other commanders. Oh, we, we do. We have our, our captain again. Okay, that's cool. It's just our captains of our various mercenary bands, unfortunately. Light the pyres. Who are we burning? Tilty. She's my sister. If I do that, I'd become a full-blown kinslayer. Uh, but we gain three sacrifices to reward. We're not doing that. No. Teach them about the gods' great mercy. We lost winter fever. Thank you. It was a test. It was a test from the old gods to see if we would break one of the most sacred rules. I'm, I'm sure. That's my headcanon anyway. Come on. Get out. Oh, the plague is leaving. That's good. Oh, the winter's here. <laughs> what a cruel twist of events. Okay, fine. We're going to join Dickon of Appleton in his defensive walls. Very well, Lord Dickon. We will join you. Oh, there's no river crossing here at the, at the crossing. That makes a lot of sense. Take him out. Did what I have to do, of course. People, they, they tried to blame the witches on the epidemic. They were, of course, not, not the ones behind it. I mean, we know that. Maesters probably knew that. Kill them all. Peasants are dead. We're husband and wife. What needed there for love? You've, you've given me an ugly son. We're, we're officially over. Right, okay. She's dealt with. Get out. Is the... The Storm's End is no longer plagued. Right. Move back to Storm's End. Let's get this place cracked. We'll build a fort over there now that we have some spare cash as well. A powerful daughter. Marianne Mud. That's that's pretty good. But marble. Have we already got marble this generation? Uh, Marble, porcelain, thee. Was, was that what I said her name was? And then we've already got marble then. Okay, come on. Give me, give, me, give me another one. Have we not got enough names in the system yet? I've lost my big long list of rocks. So I honestly don't know what to call her anymore. Here. Have we got a granite? Uh, porcelain, marble, the ma <laughs> maniore. Uh, you will be called granite then. Granite. Uh, of course, we came from the... We, we are the king of... We're not even the king of the rock. Why am I doing this? I guess because... Mud is kind of earthly. I don't remember why we came up with this name as Given Hindsight. It was a terrible idea. I blame whoever left all those comments on that earlier episode. How Stark, weirdly, still alive. Still alive, weirdly. So, of course, we got the legitimized bastard here of How Stark, the, the son of, of White and the Black Wolf there. A daughter of White and the Black Wolf. That's generally how that works. 54, so she's not having any more kids. Her son, Kyle, died, which technically brings to end that, that dynasty. But her brother, her bastard brother, so another member of How Stark that wasn't legitimized, though, unlike his sister, died of the plague. But... Uh, he was also married to uh, Shale. She and him had a son. So this kid is the final descendant of House Stark. He can adopt his ancestor's coat of arms if he has a valid ancestor of the... Because we have a game rule turned on. So all I've got to do is give him the North and he will potentially resurrect House Stark. And he's a descendant of our dynasty as well. But I think his only bloodline is the bloodline of the Hammer of Justice there. Okay. Um, let's arrange a marriage then. Wait, can I even? Can I? Can I? Well, I mean, obviously I can't arrange a marriage. But I'm saying, that can we arrange? We could marry him off to like... I mean, I'd love to play as as Thee. We've got Granite kicking around. Sure, marry him off to Granite. Thee is higher in the in the in the rank of succession and also powerful. So we'll we'll try and keep her in reserve just in case we do end up playing as her, and hopefully we will. Um, that way we're not going to end up as just playing as an ugly boy. Take this, take these guys out. Eighty-seven percent. Okay, now we try and crack Storm's End once again. Hey, winter's going as well. This is great news. Now we're we're taking no attrition. I'm building a fort anyway, just in case. You never know. This is it. We've just got to be patient now, and this is all we need. This is all that's standing between us and Reformation. Because you don't actually... I mean, whoa, look at our moral authority. Why is it so high? 75% rule. Someone else... Like, people are converting back to the old gods. Oh, probably because our moral authority is high. That makes a lot of sense. External pressure. Maybe people converting back to the old ways? I have no idea. Um, there doesn't seem to be that many... Uh Rulers in Westeros. I mean, this doesn't seem to be anybody. I mean, you can tell by the shields, right? Do we not use... Oh, we don't use the old style shields. Okay, my bad. Um, I mean, just clearly from clicking around a little bit here, you can see that they are all Faith of the Seven. I mean, if we go to the religious map mode as well, that would tell us a bit more. Yeah. I can't believe that they are... Maybe it's provinces converting as well that's helping out because we, we sort of convert back a couple here and there. No, they are very solidly Faith of the Seven. That's so weird. I don't know what the hell is causing that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Maybe, maybe like, family members can convert other family members, things like that. Open the gates. I feel like I can probably safely open the... There's still, like, traces of the plague, as you can still see still kicking around quite a lot in the Riverlands. But I think Emmons rest... Oh, God, why did I open the gates? We weren't ready. 
I thought that Emmons rest was free, but no, that was absolutely not the case. Oh, God. All right, fine. Spend the money. Whatever. That's okay. Several vicious women have been slandering about me. Okay, can we trick him in prison? He's not of our... Lord of Raleigh the Belly Grunt. They have a horrifying coat of arms, don't they? It's so scary. We saw it yesterday, but I did. I never realized the actual symbol of the sisters themselves. That's freaky as all fuck. That little brute. What a weird man. That little club foot. Oh, that's why he's called the bear. I see. I see in hindsight. Okay. Uh, do we want to try and rank up in the Warriors Guild? I mean, I feel like we're a pretty... We are a pretty unstoppable force at this point. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's also request some more military training. Let's get into shape just in case. Let's also see if there are any more bounties to kill off because we are in horrible, horrible debt. Skip the jewel engine. Kill him dead. Well done, team. And then let's also kill that other guy as well. Lord Hellman, who is minus 39. This does not seem like a good uh, jewel for us there. Boom. That was 200 gold on that guy. Very, very nice. Okay, cool. And that's that dealt with. Nice work. Like I said, this guy is just an absolute... He just can't get enough of the jeweling, can he? It's like, uh, it's, it's just his... Oh, no. We're not jeweling him, are we? Through 54, we're dueling our bodyguard. We're equally matched. We w we are equally matched. However, in a normal situation when we weren't wounded, can we quickly get rid of that? <laughs> oh, poor Balesso. Oh, no. Shit, we just killed our bodyguard. You moron. Wait, did we actually? Oh, no, no. We just gave him minus one health. I remember. Yeah. Um. Wow, that's... um. That's pretty tragic. We've permanently wounded our poor bodyguard. No. No, I'm sorry I opened the gates too early. I didn't realize. No, 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 don't. Don't do that. Don't, please. I thought I accidentally left them shut for so long, which is why I opened them in a in a panic. Oh, come on. Don't. Don't do it. Don't. Do it. It's the plague, isn't it? Oh, don't do it. You shit. I can't. I can't bear the shame. Oh, my God, it is. I'm, 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 I'm disappointed in myself. I'm going to be honest. I'm so disappointed in myself right now. I should. All I had to do was check. All I had to do was check. All I had to do was zoom in a little bit more. Look under the, look under the symbol there, and I'd have seen that quite clearly we are afflicted with the plague. Shit, we are probably dead. Bear in mind, we've got four times bruised. Like we, we are almost certainly dead here. Um, don't even bother. Don't even bother, Edgecan. She's fucking dead as well. My brother is dead. We are most likely dead. Our Son is dying. He is. Blessing. Blessing in disguise. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not a problem. I'm actually fine with it. Weirdly enough, we're still fighting Storm's End. It's fine. He was a shit character, okay? I'm saying it now. King Salt the Bold technically lived way past his prime anyway. We resurrected this man through the power of, I mean, a public vote, basically. I've Everybody voted for that, so I can't take any blame for that one. Holy shit. Um, small product. We can't afford it, but it does kind of... No. No, he's already died once before. I'm sorry, we can't bear that we're trying to crack Storm's End. This is his legacy we're talking about here. All his life was spent trying to get this reformation. We're so close to doing it. If we spend the gold, we've put that in jeopardy. This, Please die. Come on, die. And who will we play as? Porcelain. Porcelain, die. Die, die, die. die. No, no, no. Don't call the court position. No, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so used to pressing that button. It's, it's genuinely muscle memory at this stage. Come on, die. Okay, who's that? My mother. Okay, you can help her. That's see her fucking name. How long... Yes, 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 yes. This is good. This is good. Now we're playing as Marble. No, Marble needs to die as well. Then we need to play as as, as Thay. Thay. Don't bother me. Uh, small private funeral will suffice. We'll have a small private one because that way we're not inviting more people to be infected. Oh my god, the plague's gone. You... Unreal. Please die. That's so annoying that after all of that, I thought I thought we might be able to kill off those other two kids and scum it up. Well, here we go. I think we're probably dead here. And then after that, we'll be playing as Regency Can Decide. Is there even much point trying to put any effort into this kid? Can we somehow get rid of this this girl? We can't because we're in a regency and the council obviously don't want to imprison a six-year-old girl. Um, I'm really annoyed by that. There is a way I can scum this up, but I think... I don't know. Do I want to scum it up? Have we been dealt... We've been dealt a lot of bad hands by this game. I feel like I need to metagame things somewhat here. Oh my god, we lived. No, no, no. That was not part of the plan. To be fair, though, this character... Oh, the only thing that's wrong with him is the minus attraction opinion, right? We could turn this guy into something incredible. I, b I believe that. I believe we can turn this guy into something incredible. What happened to... Don't tell me Silt died. She's still alive. She has the... Live. Live, Silt. I believe in you. Come on, we need you here. You've educated three generations of the dynasty. The next generation needs you again. Please. <gasps> We've cracked it. Storm's End is cracked. Yes. Okay. Uh, is that it? Reform. Where's the button? What? 
Why? You cannot... Well, you cannot reform at this time. Why? 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 We don't have the piety. Oh, my God. That's all we need, though. We can actually reform the faith. We can get rid of this backwards culture modifier. We can empower the religion. We can be aggressive. And then we're flipping it on these bloody andals. Then we are, Then our next goal becomes subdue the andals. So as you, as you can see here, we have to defeat an andal invasion. Might be kind of impossible to do if there are no bloody andals left. No independent rams exist. Oh, God, that's going to be hard. Completely controls du jour andalos. Now, that is very difficult because du jour andalos, let me just show you. Andalos, du jour, it's under Valyria. That becomes a, a tricky thing to achieve. Is it? Is it actually Valyria, though, or is it? No, 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 no. They are... Wait, what about this one? Oh, shit, he's a direct vassal of Valyria. Uh, that's... Oh, my God, it is. Shit, I was going to say, this is all under... This is under Norvos. Oh, but it's not a kingdom, so it doesn't matter. We're going to have to go to war with Valyria if we ever want to stop these Andal invasions. Maybe if we unify Westeros under House Mud, we take the fight to Valyria. We're doing a reverse egg on the Conqueror here. This is so weird. Um, sure, we ride north at dawn, otherwise we risk a load of uh, vassal opinion. The cats are not to blame because the plague is gone. You can't, you can't do that. The plague is over, okay? We're fine. Does this guy hate us because we subjugated him, even though we weren't the ones to declare? Well, that's not my fault. That's not my bad. Okay, Mathos. Ah, defeat an animal invasion. My god, we can actually do it. Okay, here we go. How many men have they sent? 6,666 is on the other side of the... Is it, well, it's in Andalos, obviously, or north of Andalos. That's fine. That gives us the modifier, because we need that for our character. Not that this character is going to be one to stop the Andals, after all, but... Uh, oh. First man has decided to bat the Andals. Treacherous bastard. I love the idea of this... Three-year-old kid screaming treacherous bastard at Lord Garrett of Rushmore. How dare he? Oh, it's 375 men. He's going to make all the difference with that, I guess. Don't be a hero, Garrett. Doesn't suit you. Another one. Another liberation of the crossing. Are you kidding me? We need cultural conversion and fast, don't we? My God. Okay. Um, We're going to have to be a lot more careful about our troops because it seems like there's a lot of problems being thrown at us now. Um, I, I don't know why they're going in that direction. I didn't know. No, no, no. Go home. Why are we still getting plague events? There's no plague. Fine, exterminate the fucking cats, whatever. Sorry, Mr. Mittens, the peasants have lost their minds, so we're going to have to drown you in the river. Unfortunately, it was basically like I said, the north didn't get so badly hit by the plague, so we've got 2,700 troops coming down from the north, and we've only got 3,800 in our own domain here. What about our... Oh, okay, so our mercenary bands are actually pretty good. That's fine. Um, let's bring them all over to the coast of Seaguard then, and we'll, uh, well, that also gives us plenty of opportunity to defend our northern troops as they come down as well. We'll, we'll hit them at this choke point. That way they'd have to go to the crossing to get to the north, so this works out. This works out fine. Let's bunker down here, get our armies together, merge them. Peasants are furious because I'm, I've killed their cats. Oh my, what are you? Calm, calm. Don't be mad at the peasants. They know not what they do. Fucking stupid peasant revolts because they want me to kill the cats for a plague that doesn't even exist. Where's the plague? Sorry. Let's get the let's get the let's get these troops together and let's kill some peasants. Let's let's make up for it by killing some peasants. That seems like a good seems like a good it's a nice bit of catharsis there. Bit of stress relief. Just murdering peasants I'm gonna stop that. Move a lot. Oh you fucker. Um Alright, whatever. Move to Sea Guard then. Move to Sea Ooh, are these are the Liberation Revolt. Right, so these are the peasants that I so desperately want to kill. Worry about the Andals in a minute. Now, that's not part of the plan. That's not very cash money of you. Um, move these guys up to Seaguard. Then we'll merge them when they're there. And then we'll try and get some good commanders on this army. Silt Sil live. Oh, my God. She's got pneumonia and the flu. <laughs> the unluckiest one who's ever lived. Survived the plague and just get hit by everything else simultaneously. You poor fucker. Okay. Um, let's take this army out then. They're going to go for those guys. They've stopped them there. They've slowed them down, cut the army in half so our other armies can catch up with them. Silt and Corella met as enemies in the duel. They fought each other fiercely, but Silt prevailed. You just got your ass handed to you by a woman, a 61-year-old woman with pneumonia and the flu. My God. Take him out. Take him out, team. Get out of here. Come on. That's it. That was, that was a good idea to move those guys and actually sacrifice a few troops, but slow them down so their armies can't merge. Nice work. There we go. Okay, that's those guys dealt with. We've got 7,300 troops. Bring them back south. Now we take out the Andals. Um, where, where, where have they gone? Andals, hello? A Andals? Dan of Danwell Newbridge's host is 100 and... What? Where's his army's gone? Up his sleeves. No, they're all dead. They are actually all dead. Did they throw away their troops trying to siege down Darry? What? Okay, um, makes my life easy. Did he run out? Maybe did he did run out of money? I, I mean, that could have happened, but... No, he's got 83 gold. I don't know what the hell happened there. I'm fine with this, though. That makes my life very, very easy. So we crush these troops, and that's it. Congratulations. You're the great conqueror of Dari. Is that it? 
This army's are dead. That was it. We have won the battle. 150 troops versus 9,400. Well done, team. Set their marriage. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not in the business of pissing people off. Boom. Hey, that's proven what a powerful young ruler we are. If we've, we've immediately repelled off two different invasions. To an Andal invasion. Recently victorious in a war. Incompetent military ruler. Okay, don't worry about that one too much. Haha. <laughs> uh, cross major. Oh, I suppose to be fair, that's another feature of the Game of Thrones world. If we have a higher marshal, we get bonuses to our troops. Um, whereas right now, as you can see, we're a terrible marshal. So why are we... What's with this intrigue? I mean, it's random, but what's with this intrigue, Silt? She she live. She still got the flu, though. Um, let him bend the knee. All right, whatever. Whatever, I'm not in the business of pissing off my vassals. I don't like it, but we'll, we'll keep a little bit of, of, of stability for the realm. Might be the right way to phrase it. Now, before tomorrow, I am going to be installing uh, one of the official sub-mods. Well, not necessarily the Westeros only mod. I might even brew up my own little mod here to remove some of the map. I don't know if you can tell, but it has gotten very quickly, very, very, very laggy. Um, and it, it keeps threatening to crash me. I keep getting the, you know, the windows pop up. Uh, the, the screen will go white in windows and the mouse cursor will start going. <laughs> Peasant Revolt, very nice. Um... It, it's not just when it's auto-saving. It's quite frequent. I'm getting worried that we might be getting into tr crash territory here. So I'm going to remove some of the map. I'll probably remove everything this side of the Bone Mountains. Just because Valyria extend that far. I might even remove some of the Central Dothraki you see. Maybe even even something like that. I want to give Valyria... You know, keep them as they are. I might even remove Sarnor. I don't know. But um, right now it's getting very laggy. And I'm not sure what's causing it. But removing some of that will just help with the stability. Um... So it's a safe bet, but it's not looking too good here, and I'm fearing for this campaign. Yeah, that's not that's not a good sign. So now the reformation is is guaranteed. I mean, it's just a case of waiting. That's all we've got to do. We control three of the holy sites. 99.5% moral authority. Rulers converted. 78%. How? I don't know. You tell me, because I have absolutely no idea why or how. I guess the Andals just aren't converting people. I mean, they're not converting back though. That's the weird thing. Everyone's still. Faith of the Seven. And I have absolutely no idea wh who is being converted to our faith. It must be some of our vassals' vassals. That looks cool. It must be some of our vassals' vassals or something along those lines. Because there's, I mean, like, maybe, like, random Northmen, perhaps, were, 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 I mean, we know that a lot of the Northern rulers actually converted to the Faith of the Seven. Because I made a point of, you know, all the North is supposed to be this, this first, or well, this old God's. Uh, stronghold, and in our playthrough, they'd all convert, but they seem to have all converted back, so that might be part of it. Like this guy, for example, we would be one of those candidates normally. But hey, all we need, 750 piety. Very easy to do. We'll just take the theocracy focus for a while or something like that. Theo theocracy? Theology focus for a while. There are other ways to do it as well, and then after that, we're we're done. The religion is reformed under the power of King Manure, the guy, a guy I really didn't put much stock into, hence his name. Thank you all for watching. You know who I do put a lot of stock into? It's the insane top tier level patrons because they themselves have put a lot of stock into me and the channel and they've made it all possible. Without them, I wouldn't be here. I'll be honest. I'd be doing literal. I'd be dancing in the street for money because God knows that'd be more than <laughs> relying on YouTube. Thank you to. Don't tell them I said that. Thank you to Alchemia, Anthony Golia, Asuna Kirito, Utmost, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Grossis, Donald, Doolan of Gondolin, Fukuna Vasquez, Gogla, Sarik, Harry McGowan, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nostros, Necrofan, and Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Smeg Mustaine, Somnus, Shea, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Sarah 18, Tyler Kendall, Tournament Lamb, Vacuous Backus, Varagon, William Green, and Zazzy7011 for their support at the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you guys. I need to change that from saying Jerry King's nice and good list. I don't think anybody knows what Jerry King is anymore. I feel like we need to just... We need, we need to give that a better name, huh? Better title. Sorry, Jerry, but you're being ousted a little bit here. Thanks to these guys for their support at the highest of the high tiers on Patreon. Much appreciation, but um, an, an equal appreciation in my heart has to go out, of course, to the other patrons, including Uwu Daddy, Astro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Blood for the Blood God, Buen Gun, Chris, Corgi Circus, David Van Diepen, Don, Duncan Honey 207, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gotham O, Grey, Haji Dubar, Icarus, I Am Sagatair, Icy the Great, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jose, Jeebus Crust, You're Under Breeze, Jilps, Lucky Sister, Jilly Vondel, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Rules, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bostish, Mastolp, Monty, Mosi Sampson, My Name Isn't Dio, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Limberg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panthapel, 
Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sam Kears, Shardul, Smirtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, Sweet Sea, Talar, The One Ring, Voodoo Mumbo, Void Prince Kibo, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Wolfie, Yellow Four, Yorker, Zach, and Zico 2. Thank you for your support over on P -p 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 Patreon. Patreon. P -p -p Patreon. Now someone can remix that and I'll have myself a new outro song rather than just whatever this quiet thing that plays in the background is.